the ADWR, ADWR fifth management plan goes into effect January 2025. Essentially what this says is that you're going to be facing communities and HOAs facing a 30 to 40 percent reduction in water usage. Grass. We have a lot of grass. Maricopa County has so much grass that if we were to eliminate all the turf, we would save 92 billion gallons of water a year. Well, a lot of pressure comes on HOAs with uh, grass like what you see in front of me here. This is in an over 55 community, South Chandler and Sun Lakes. And this is all maintained by the HOA. Now, HOAs and communities such as Ocotillo, which used to require you to overseed with winter ryegrass every year, will no longer require you to do that. They're going to encourage you to put in desert landscaping or artificial turf. Now the challenge is, in a neighborhood like this, HOAs are going to have to start getting proactive and letting people know the legislation that's about to hit, that's already passed, and the steps that they need to take as an HOA. There's every possibility and they may need to rip all this grass up that you see and convert it to desert landscaping. Now some of these neighbors are not going to be too excited about this. In fact, they're already grumbling and saying, wait, I bought this home so I could look out all this lush green landscaping. So the pressure now comes on the HOA is to communicate with the communities that they're in of exactly what's about to come down in January. Now, according to Jim Koth, who we have had on this show before, he's with Aquatrack Systems, he told us that HOAs are probably going to be facing this problem in the future and that it's probably going to be a little bit of a battle between HOAs and homeowners. But uh, one of the things he does share here is he does say that taking action to remove just 50,000 acres of turf in Maricopa County could lead to substantial water savings. In fact, the amount of water conserved could exceed the staggering 92 billion gallons currently used in the county. Eliminating turf would not only save water, but create opportunities for population growth and development. In addition, currently the draining of aquifers to maintain grass landscapers restricts the state's ability to expand and meet the needs of a growing population. Removing turf can bring significant cost-saving benefits to both large and small communities. For example, if a community of two, has two acres of turf, it will cost approximately $87,000 or $1 per square foot to remove it. However, through water savings and reduced maintenance costs, the community would recoup the entire $87,000 with just two years within two years and 10 months. This means that investing in water conservation and removing the grass saves money for communities. Well, that's great. And uh, we need to look at doing that. But, you know, where do you get this upfront money? You're going to have to raise everybody's HOA dues. Well, a simple Google search will show you that there are plenty of opportunities out there and incentives for people to get grants, especially HOAs. You have City of Phoenix, Arizona cities offering money incentives for residents to change, you know, to get rid of their turf. Landscape conversions rebate in Tempe. City of Mesa, reg residential grass to Xeriscape. There's all kinds of grant money and uh, state money and county money available to help you as a homeowner convert your lawn to um, desert landscaping. And there's even more money available for HOAs. So while people don't like it, that's a lot easier to swallow, I think, than the upcoming water bills we are going to see in the future if nothing's done to change our consumption. Uh, you know, as you look at solutions like getting uh, desalinization out of Mexico, that would be one hell of an expensive water bill. So there's other solutions out there, but conserving is the way to go. Now, the winner in all of this, who's really shown a great example for saving water, believe it or not, is Nevada, especially Las Vegas. There aren't uh, green grass lawns up there, and they really actually replenish all the water that they use. So there's a lot of uh, examples out there in Nevada 
on how to conserve water because they pulled the majority of their water out of the Colorado River, and they were forced to cut back a long time ago. So Arizona does a great job at managing the water. It's good to get in front of it. The governor is pushing very hard right now with some of the agriculture that's out by the uh, Colorado River and trying to find ways to save money there, save consumption. So let's see. Water will be and will always be an issue here in Arizona. And uh, we'll continue to watch it closely. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick at rickhelps.com. Take care.